Welcome to Latin Nation, celebrating your generation from coast to coast. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. And you know what I want more of? I want to see more Latinos talking about deep philosophical stuff. I want to see more Latinos in the media challenging your minds with more intellectual content. Does that sound boring? Well, it's not, because getting super smart is becoming super cool, thanks to people like our first story. Jason Silva, the host of Nat Geo's highest rated show, Brain Games, is making a career out of not just deconstructing your mental abilities with a show that features optical illusions and paradoxes in nature, he's also challenging us to ponder on the very things that make up the universe. And we have it ready to boggle your minds right here on Latin Nation. Check this out. Brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. Here are the two planes you need to track. Are you ready? Are you sure? Here we go. My name is Jason Silva, and I'm the host of National Geographic's Brain Games. What I need you to do is stare at the screen. There's going to be a dot in the middle of the screen, and you're going to keep your eyes on that dot. I just saw color. What if I was to say that the colors were put there by your brain, that they were never on the screen? I was born in Caracas back when it was still a civilized country, before its uh, massive deterioration. And uh, I was lucky enough to attend an international school, so I went to a bilingual high school. I grew up bilingual, and then went to University of Miami for college. Double majored in philosophy and film, so a big lover of ideas and a big lover of media as a way of disseminating ideas. Then got a gig working for Al Gore's TV network, which was an innovative and smart uh, attempt at democratizing the media. It was the HBO of the YouTube generation. Um, but Current failed to generate a mass audience. So after a couple years, I decided to go my own way. Started doing my own media on the internet, my short videos about technology and the human condition, and, uh, and then those got really popular. It says that one of the ways that we elicit wonder is by scrambling the self temporarily so that the world can seep in. Shots of Awe is just an evolution of my philosophical espresso shots, which started as my self-funded passion project, you know, working directly with my filmmaker, editor friends to make these rhapsodic little two-minute espresso shots of inspiration and try to find a way of capturing inspiration. While you might be thinking safely flying and landing a huge 747 is super stressful, it's nothing compared to what's going on behind the scenes. Brain Games started out as a three-part special on the network that rated really well, and they were like, wow, let's do a full series. They caught wind of what I was doing in my videos, and they were like, let's bring this guy in, and then they had me host the full season, 12 episodes, and then it broke records for the network, and here we are. That's crazy. Our volunteer Paul says it best. If you're telling me I didn't see color, then where is it coming from? I think that, you know, people have always been interested in expanding the perimeters of their consciousness, you know, probing the adjacent possible. We've been experimenting with psychoactive substances for 10,000 years in religious rituals. People say that psychedelic substances might have ushered in, catalyzed religion, the origin of language. I mean, we were painting psychedelic paintings in, our, in, our, in the walls of the caves back in the day, you know, tripping out in front of the fire. I mean, mankind has had a relationship with technologies of ecstasy to explore his mind, and a lot of Cyberdelic thinkers say that technology is the literalization of the psychedelic dream of mind expansion. Our smartphones are extensions of our cognition. They are examples of distributed intelligence. I phone, therefore I am. I mean, literally, and th this idea that, that our second skin is our technology, it's our turtle shell. Because I believe that consciousness is 100% a mediated experience, then how you mediate it, how you tweak those parameters as they enter your perceptual apparatus can determine the unfolding of your moment-to-moment -moment experience. I know that sounds crazy, but it's just kind of like, you can pick the soundtrack of your life, you can author, you can script your moment-to-moment -moment existence. And I become a real fanatic of that, like I want to hack my experience. This is the rhapsodic, ecstatic, bursting forth of awe. And now that we have 
started to realize this, we're starting to see more and more media that feeds that thirst to expand our minds. We're tired of stupefying ourselves with media, and now we're using media as a tool of mind expansion. Look at the success of TED. Look at the success of My Shots of Awe. Look at the success of Brain Games. I think there is a hunger for expanding our consciousness, and I want to be part of that conversation. Come on, think you're up for the challenge? <laughs>